It's past. A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? So grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why should he? Just that. He doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. Coming, Captain! Screw them! Fire! Fire! Royal Navy! No soul but fate! Ready here! Fire! Take it out! Two souls! Take a bit sharp to the wind! He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know. But it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The Chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adewali about that. He believes the box can be activated to, well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. We put these little glass plates in front, then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome, bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strained language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. One from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. You see, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. 
I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and quite disposition. Only I spoke much peace. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different...
We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. As a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Please accept my most sincere thanks, sir. Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? Got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hands to their watery grave. The Giafo nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Then I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, she? Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon and will soon have a chance to use it. <laughs> 